Hello and welcome. My name is Joanna Kay with Screen Magazine and today in our Holly Shorts Hotspots we will be talking to the team behind the film Shiri. Shiri is a hilarious and creative take on a man looking for love in a technology obsessed world. We can all relate to that. We have with us producer Diane Foster of Wally Bird Productions, writer and star Grace Yee, and director Micah Cote. Thank you for joining me with our Holly Shorts Hotspots. I'm so happy to be speaking with the Shiri team. Grace, I wanna know what inspired you to create this film? Oh, it's a funny story, really. So, a true story. I was standing in line at Ralph's and I was in a different line and I was seeing this guy who was totally on a dating app. You can tell with his thumb <laughs> swiping left and right. You just know he was like on Tinder. And there was a girl and she was totally checking him out. I'm like, oh my God, she's checking him out. Does he see that? Like, does he see that? And then I was just curious. I'm like, I'm just going to stay silent and watch this. And he went through the whole line, swiping left and right. And you can tell she's like, like, look, I'm right look. here. here. And like, he literally pays for his groceries and walks out and you can just see her deflate. She's just like, oh, like, should I have said something? I'm like, no girl, he should have looked up from his freaking phone. And I was so upset because I was like, man, like you're here looking for love and here's one sitting right next to you, but you're in like more of a relationship with your phone than you are with people. And then I was like, oh my gosh. Wouldn't that be funny? I'm like, wouldn't that be funny if a phone with a really possessive girlfriend? <laughs> and that's kind of how the whole story came about. I literally ran home and wrote it in 30, like 30 minutes. And it was done because it was just so like, ah! <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. Always the best pieces is when you're so inspired that you just have to write it down. And yeah. creating your, your, own, um, your own films are so important right now. So you wrote it and you starred in it, but of course you can't do it alone. Can you tell me how you ended up with this amazing team? Oh my gosh, I would love to. I love my team so much. Aika, who's an amazing actress as well, she didn't say that, but she is. She has this real like niche for comedy. And so she had directed me in an acting class we were all in. And she just had all these genius ideas for the scene we were doing. She's like, what if we tried this and that? I was laughing just even I'm like, oh my gosh, that's genius. Oh my God, Micah should be the director. She's fantastic. And she added so much to it like when she read it. And then we're like, we don't know how to make a film. Like we're both excited. And she's like, dude, Diane. So I AD'd for her on this film. She is amazing. And like, I only knew Diane as a phenomenal actress. Okay, like just... What? Diane can do something other than act? What? <laughs> she, and so she was like, Diane's incredible. She's amazing. And I, I just never knew Diane in that capacity. And the first time we sat down, Diane was just, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, you're Wonder Woman. Wow, this is insane. It's so cool. Did you have um, any unexpected challenges while shooting? Um, and therefore things that you've learned for next time or that you advice you can give to future filmmakers? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Yes. It's always a challenge. Money. I suggest next time we do a film, we have more money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's definitely one. I would say also, um, you know, I think when you have a lot of people on set and, you know, there's so much going on, um, obviously, when you're making a film. So I think for us, there, there was a number of things. It was really hot. So we had to take that into consideration so that like everybody didn't like fry up um, yeah. in the hot sun. Um, and then also, you know, obviously getting, we have a beautiful shots on the Santa Monica Pier of the Ferris wheel and all this stuff. And it's not easy to just go on to the Santa Monica Pier and shoot. So, you know, putting all that together, getting all the locations, I think all those things were, um, you know, obviously a team effort in, in figuring all that stuff out, so. It ended up being great because we have amazing a challenge figuring out like okay we have to make sure we have you know a good space that we shoot this in and that we do all the right stuff get all of our permits and all that yeah and the, the thing with the Santa Monica Pier because obviously like it's such a tourist spot like always so crowded we were freaking out trying to figure out if we were going to even be able to shoot there and we kept calling the woman who's supposed to be in charge of that she would never answer and finally, I think we just send Grace over. Grace was like, I'll go see her in person. And she walks into this woman's office like, look, we want to shoot a film. And the woman was like, okay, that should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, 
<laughs> That's amazing. It's all about the communication. Uh, I believe it is the 16th through the 22nd. We are in the Stage 32 short film program, uh, which is very exciting because there's only a handful of us um, in that program. So we sort of have a little um, separate area that we get to showcase. So very, very exciting. Um, and big thanks to Stage 32 because they've been absolutely incredible. Um, they're amazing, obviously, for independent filmmakers worldwide, but giving us the opportunity um, to screen at Holly Shorts. And a huge thank you also to Holly Shorts, because um, I think we're all very excited. Obviously, we were hoping that we would be in person because we wanted to go to Grandma's Chinese Theater and take pictures, but, um, you know, just to be in it and just to have these laurels and um, just to be able to meet the community of people that also are having their film screen there is going to be truly amazing. So, yeah, absolutely. I know you're all working on so many projects. Um, give us a little sneak peek at what's next for each of you. What can we look forward to? Let's go with Diane first, because she's got so much. <laughs> okay, uh, yes. Uh, obviously, I said before that I am the founder of Wally Bird Productions, and um, you know why I started the company was to give uh, diversity and equality to people and give a voice. So we are working on so many different things right now. We have a documentary called Does My Vote Count? Um, that is going on currently filming, um, working with the incredible artist Juno um, on her visual album uh, working on a feature film that is still being written, but it is a true story and uh, one that I think that will really, really help people. So we have a lot of stuff going on. Um, I have also Make-A-Wish that is premiering at Holly Shorts as well. Uh, fellow, some fellow actor friends are in that. Um, so that's really exciting. And that film has almost uh, 80 film festivals worldwide wow. that we've premiered at. So really incredible stuff. Very, very grateful and excited about the year ahead. So thank you. Thank you. I'll go. Um, so I directed a feature film that we shot last year and it's been stuck in pre uh, post production since then, but it should be done within the next couple months. And it's a horror called Guys at Parties Like It. My brother wrote it and him and I co-directed it and we shot it out in New York. Um, so yeah, hopefully that'll come out soon. And then I've been asked to direct a um, dramatic short film for a friend in San Francisco that he wrote himself. And Grace, anything coming up for you? Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, I'm just writing a couple scripts. One's a comedy and one's a drama, both features. So they're, uh, they're, in, they're a work in progress, but it's been fun. Awesome. All right, well, you are all a very creative bunch and everybody go out and watch Shiri. And thank you again so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. Hi, Joanna. Thank you. Bye guys, take care. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you can find Shiri, of course, at the Holly Shorts Film Festival, and it's also available for viewing at the Raindance Film Festival through Stage 32. Thank you so much for joining us here at Screen Magazine.